new interpretation. The prophet said this is the new culture and religion. He said it's time to put a different spin on the way we have been taught things. A new way. A different way. Because the way that we have been taught for the most part has did us as a nation of people not any good. He says just as talismans became dollars, incantations became songs, charms developed into mental signs, so must other changes be. Nor should the ancients be forgotten. For God loves those who respect their ancestors. Think about that. For God loves those who respect their ancestors. Since when has African Americans properly respected their ancestors? And I said properly respect them. They, they'll go around and look up their ancestors on the internet or go somewhere you know. That's a start. That's a start. But that's not proper respect for them. Proper respect is when you start worshiping them. Yeah. Praying to them. <coughs> knowing who their deities are. Then you are giving, are giving them the proper Respect. All the way down, or either way you want to say it, all the way up to naming your children <laughs> properly. Joe, Bill, William, Harry, Mark, Luke. That's not enough for our people. <coughs> That's not showing proper respect for your ancestors. Our people still think they show a lot proper respect when they say, well, I'm naming them after my great uncle. <laughs> you know, who was who was so and who was so and so named Joe Blow, you know. <laughs> this is not proper respect for ancestors. You think you actually name them after your ancestors, but you actually name them after some Europeans ancestors. And our people for the most part still don't realize this. This is culture lesson number one. This is for honey in the in the <coughs> school vernacular. This is for honey 101. And our people are not even hip to, not even aware to that basic deal, that basic statement in Fahani. Oh, yeah. They don't even understand what worshiping their own ancestors means. Mm -hmm. But this is something we as Fahamis are taught. This is something we as Muhammadis must practice. We must tell, teach our brothers and sisters these things so they can pass it on. God loves and respects those who worship their ancestors. So we 
have been being cut off from his blessings by not doing it. Mm -hmm. A wise man's sight is not glued to one spot. He looks all around the world and up and down. Praise be unto the Most High God. The real Africa revealed. The original Africa or Ethiopia comprised every land, ocean, river, lake under the equator within the tropics. Australia in the east, the Amazon in Brazil, the Sudras in India, South America and every land of the tropics was Ethiopic. Ancient Islam unveiled. The real Ethiopia. I have to point out again how many of our brothers and sisters on the street understand that basic, simple truth. <laughs> they still think Africa is over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? They still think that's Africa. They don't know that the majority of South America is Africa. Okay. The majority of all the islands on the equator and the tropics is Africa or Ethiopia. They do not understand that. Not yet. <laughs> if you go over there, those people look just like us. And they still don't understand it because through the internet and TV and all this now, when they show them people on the screens, they look just like us. But it's still having dawned on our people. that they are our brothers, or that they are our sisters. This is what I'm talking about. It's, this is the things that are still holding our people up. Why is that? of the earth were named sons of God, Bani Elohim, which means sons of God. The rich river valleys, but it even means more than that. It means the sons of God were colored. It means that the sons of God were Dark. The rich river valleys of the Amazon in South America, the Ganges in India, the Nile in Africa make up what is called the gardens of Eden, or of life on earth. Food. Heat produced the first forms of life on earth. It could not happen in the cold. Climate is responsible for color and hair. Curly hair is shade for the head in hot weather, and straight hair is warmth for the head in the cold weather. The desert places of the earth are the lands of Nod, meaning naked or nude, doesn't have any vegetation. Not too much vegetation at all. Having only thorns and thistles and cactuses. These are lessons from the Fahami school of science. What preachers do we know that are preaching this? Our 
outside of the Fahami Rasu, outside of Fahami. No one else. We need to learn these things and enlighten our sisters and brothers to these basic facts. Culture is religion and religion is culture. Culture means to worship your own most high God. individually, but the whole race, the race has to be taken into consideration. Okay. It has to be taken into consideration. Religion is the worship of God coupled with the worship of your ancestors. Good Religion is temperamental, meaning how you see him, how you view your God. How do you view him? Do you view him as a white man on a cross? Do you see him, view him as a white man as your president? Do you see him as a white man as your pastor? This is a false concept that our, most of our people are living under. When you see in yourself as lesser than or subservient to some other people or some other God or seeing your God as looking differently than you. I'm doing. You, you, you. You begin to get a distorted viewpoint on life. Mm -hmm. And therefore you start number on the wrong foot from, from, from day one. From day one. But our people are still resisting this simple fact. We, as Fahamis in Fahami 101, know these things. So don't go out there letting these people be, I don't care what race they are, I don't care if they're members of your own race, coming up to you, telling you anything mm -hmm. about race, God, religion, you know the truth of these things. No one should be coming up to you telling you about what Jesus said. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Because you know better. This is for how many one on one. Get them off your back. Tell them I don't play that around here. Y'all playing games out there. The only reason you holler in Jesus is because you know your God don't like that. And if your God don't like that, that means you worshiping some other God than your own. Than your own. Worshiping some other God than your own. The science of religion is that all religions are temple milk. Don't let them put mess in <clears throat> your head. Do not fall for that. Lessons from the Fahami school of science. The Garden of Eden revealed 
church are those of us who have been. And they tell us the story of God, and they still tell in that story, of Adam and Eve and the God of Eve. The prophet clears that up without going into a lot of great detail. The Garden of Eden is the rich river valleys where you find your own plants, growth, you know, greenery, forestry, a thing where you can, areas where you can grow food in abundance and then have water and vegetation in abundance. That's what God, a Garden of Eden is. He says, all of most nations had these things, only they named it different. All the peoples of the world had their mighty rivers throughout.